Good morning, happy Tuesday. Bit more of a relaxed and slow start to the day today. It's ten past nine. I've just been out with Charlie. Um, Andrew's been in and out of the garage doing bits and pieces and I'm ready to sit down for breakfast. So I'm having two shredded wheat, which is a healthy extra bee on Slimming World, with a banana and custard yoghurt for half a sin and some fresh strawberries. I've just noticed on the shredded wheat packet that it says they are vegan. I'm sure you all knew that, but I just thought I'd let you know. I've just noticed that. And then I've got that with a coffee made with skimmed milk. So breakfast is um, healthy extra B and half a sin. I think today is going to be batch cooking day, but I'm going to have a little sit down first and charge my phone. Right, so 20 past 10 and I'm getting up and getting ready to start batch cooking. First thing I'm going to do is make some um, baked rice loaves. I'm going to make one. So I've picked up two packets of golden vegetable savoury rice, which is um, free on Slimming World. I think I worked out that this was two sins for the whole thing or something, I can't remember. So it works out about half a sin a slice anyway when I use this Moroccan style chickpeas. Um, so golden vegetable savoury rice, chickpea dal and curry powder in one loaf and golden vegetable savoury rice, a can of baked beans and barbecue seasoning for another one and each loaf will use three eggs. I've got my two um, loaf tins ready and my loaf tin liners. So I'm not gonna not gonna go through it because I've made this many times before. But basically all you do is cook the rice as um, directed on the back of the packet, mix all the ingredients together throw them in your loaf tin and then cook on 200 degrees for about 40 to 45 minutes. And that is curry loaf. So one will be sin free and one, if you do it into um, four portions, will be half a sin a portion. So there we go, that is curry loaf. So I have the loaf made with chickpeas ready to cook. And I've got the second batch of rice cooking for my baked bean loaf. So those will be going in soon. The next thing I'm going to start cooking is the spice and thais sausage and bean casserole. Uh, this is a bit of an advert. I do have a discount code below uh, if anyone is interested in the spice and thais products. But this is an absolutely delicious casserole. I use these Aldi specially selected skinny pork sausages, which are half a cent each. I'm going to cook these in my active fry for about 16 minutes and then fry them off in the frying pan with the other ingredients which I'll go through. But yeah, absolutely delicious and absolutely, definitely worth a try with the sausages. Um, so as I say, there is a discount code below if anyone's interested. Right, so both rice loaves are cooking away in the microwave convection oven. And I've made a start on my sausage casserole. So I've got onions and garlic um, frying in the pan. Then I'm gonna add drained butter beans, a can of baked beans, salt and pepper, some um, chopped tomatoes or passata, some mustard, balsamic vinegar, and the sausages and of course the spice and thighs pack to make my sausage and bean casserole. Yum yum, it's dead easy to make, just throw it together. The longest thing is probably chopping the onion and cooking the sausages. So just throw all these ingredients in the pan, heat it for a little while and then serve. Or freeze. There's my sausage casserole. Been simmering for a few minutes. You also add some water as well as the other ingredients I showed you. And I've chopped my sausages this time. I'm gonna add them in and simmer it for a further minute and then it will be done. Done, done and yum, yum. So it is 20 past 12 now and lunchtime, which I will show you in a minute. 
but this is my baked bean loaf and my curry loaf they've come out much better this time i did cook them for 45 minutes and they have caught a little bit on the top but they're lovely and set so i'll slice those in a while here's my four um sausage casseroles so they're for the sausages it's three sins in total so i'll probably count a sin per portion curry loaf is half a sin if you divide it into four half a sin per portion and the baked bean loaf is free and then over here i've got my lunch so it's the ainsley harriet tomato and chili couscous which is one sin for the packet and i've got half a sin here uh, and in the couscous i've got tomatoes onion and peppers and uh, ham bits of ham and with that i've got green leaves cucumber and beetroot a donut peach and some strawberries and a sugar-free Fanta. So lunch is half a sin. So it's now about quarter past one and lunch is eaten and I'm making my last thing for today which is a crustless quiche. I'm going to make a, a large batch cooked portion that should make a version that should make six portions. So in a frying pan I've got some two peppers, an orange and a yellow and some lazy garlic softening i'll add to that some chunks of gammon ham and then to make the topping or the cheesy sauce i'll use 300 grams of quark some eggs five four or five eggs i'll use uh, salt and pepper mustard powder and however much cheese you would like to use to either sins or a health extra A allowance for each portion. So I'll just mix that up, wait for those things to fry off and then show you the end product. And there we go, there is my crustless quiche. So chunks of gammon ham and fried peppers in the bottom, topped with a mix of quark, eggs, cheese and seasoned with salt and pepper, mustard powder and mixed herbs and then I've topped it off with these delicious sugar drop tomatoes which I'm absolutely in love with. They are really really nice so give them a try. So I've preheated my combination oven to 180 and I'll probably do cook this for about 40 minutes and just keep an eye on the top because it does tend to brown. But yeah, 35 to 40 minutes. I'm just wrapping up my curry loaves while my quiche is cooking. Just thought I'd show you the chickpea dal one because it collapsed last time I made it, but it's come out much better this time. So these are all going in the freezer. Probably should keep one out for lunch and uh, lunch this week actually, but um, we'll see how we go. I'm not going to put them in the freezer quite yet because I'll wait for this to be done so I can always decide about my future lunches very soon. But yeah, that is chickpea dal loaf. So it is just after two o'clock and the apron is off because we are almost finished. We're just waiting for the quiche to cook which is in the oven and I'm having a coffee and a banana and then when the quiche is cooked and out of the oven me and Andrew and Charlie will go out for a little walk just around the village uh, tomorrow we might ha tomorrow or Thursday we might have a, a little day out somewhere and possibly take you with us and I'm gonna sit and enjoy this now and there is my cooked crustless quiche now I've left it to cool down for probably about 45 minutes while we've been out walking and I'm just gonna portion this up into six and this will go in the freezer as well. There we go, a day, a morning's hard work. Four sausage casseroles at uh, one sin each. Bacon and pepper crustless quiche, which is one health extra egg per portion. Bean loaf, bean, bean and rice loaf, which is sin free and chickpea dal curry loaf which is half a sinner portion so there's four dinners there and 
eight, 14 lunches or, or meals and everything will go in the freezer apart from one thing I'll keep out to take on a picnic with me tomorrow. Yum, yum. Well, the day seems to have passed pretty quickly and now it's on to evening meal. I will turn the camera around and have a little chat with you at some point, but first I'm gonna eat this. So we've got lean mince cooked in the slow cooker. It is not mince Monday, it is Tuesday, but that's how it goes on holiday. Um, we've cooked the lean mince with the Coleman's cottage pie mix which is seven sins for the packet so three and a half sins for my portion with a baked sweet potato and mixed veg carrots broccoli and cauliflower and 40 grams of light cheese for a healthy x-ray choice then i've got the rest of a tub of quark most of it i used in the crustless quiche and I've got five grams of white chocolate powder in there for one sin with a few strawberries and a sugar-free orange juice so four and a half sins and a healthy extra a choice on the table good afternoon haven't haven't done much face to camera thing today but yeah we've had a good productive day batch cooking wise we've had a nice walk out uh, not too sunny but just nice and dry um, the only thing I haven't made is a soup, um, but I do have some sweet potatoes left, so I might get um, some more ingredients and make sweet potato and tomato soup again. And I've also got some pork mince and salmon in the freezer. So if you've got, got any ideas on what I can make with those things, then do let me know. And I might do a little bit more cooking towards the end of the week. Um, tomorrow me and Andrew are going to go out for a little walk. Um, Thursday I'm not so sure what we're doing and Friday I think we're meeting my mum to go for a walk and then we've got Saturday and Sunday free so far. Um, there's a lot going on personally. My dad's back in, hosp my dad's back in hospital. He's been in for over a week waiting for a care package um, and they won't discharge him until something's organised uh, and it's a bit frustrating really because I've been waiting all this time to go and see him uh, and now restrictions have eased a little bit and I could have gone to see him this week but because he's in hospital they're not allowing visitors. So yeah unless we get the news that he's being discharged before the end of the week then um, it'll have to be a weekend when I go and see him. I really need to go and see him to assess um, his abilities uh, because I haven't seen him since before lockdown. So it's that second, third week in March. Um, I'm quite concerned because a lot of people have said that he's, he's um, declined in his ability to walk and things like that. And he is, he is getting harder and harder to talk to on the phone. And also, I, I can't say too much on here, uh, but my brother is having serious mental health issues, mental health problems. Um, now, we are very low contact, me and my brother, um, but it's having a real impact on my mum and my sister who are looking after him. So yeah, there's a lot going on personally, but we're getting through it. We're having a nice uh, week off and hopefully I'll get to see some of my relatives later on this week. So let drop a line, drop a comment below to let me know how you're all getting on. If you've got any ideas for recipes, let me know. Like I say, I've got pork mince and salmon in the freezer and I'd like to make some kind of soup as, as well, excuse me. Yeah, that's that's all the news from today. Charlie's here on my lap, look. I will be going live on Thursday morning. Um, it'll probably be a bit later than 7 o'clock because we're not working, so we'll have a little bit of a sleep in. But I will put some kind of post up to say, oh, I'm going live in 15 minutes or whatever, so that you've got a bit of notice. But that's all my news for today. 
Have you got any news, Charlie? What's your news? Oh, I see. Is that I ate all my dinner? Because Daddy put some mince on it? Or is that give me a chew? Catch you later. So it's quite early in the evening, uh, but tonight there's going to be another live YouTube stream pl uh, playing my game. And I want to get this uploaded so that I can relax and watch that. So this is what I'll be eating at some point during the evening. I've got some Walker's Oven Baked Salt and Vinegar Crisps. They are five and a half cents. A Salted Caramel Flour and White Meringue Bar. That is three and a half cents. And an apple with a coffee made with skimmed milk. So for my two A choices, I had skimmed milk and cheese. And for my B choice, I had um, shredded wheat and I'm ending on 14 and a half cents. Thank you very much for watching. Like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you very soon.